Speaking of Fox 10 Phoenix, our very own Carrie Lake uh, was doing an interview, especially during this time. I know there are so many different news stories coming out. It can be stressful to hear all these different headlines, all the different numbers being reported. It can really affect our sleep. And so our very own Carrie Lake uh, spoke with an expert about how to deal with that sleep, maybe also how to get that monkey brain, that constant uh, chatter in your head uh, to keep from racing and worrying. All of these different sleep issues can be triggered by this pandemic. And so she did talk with the founder of Valley Sleep Centers. Let's listen into that right here on News Now. I am joined by Lori Ledley, who uh, is the founder and owner of Valley Sleep Centers, which uh, has numerous locations here in Phoenix, Arizona. And Lori, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. You are an expert in sleep and sleep disturbances and sleep issues and have been for a couple of decades now. Um, in a nutshell, just tell us what you're seeing right now with the pandemic and all of the economic issues people are facing. What kind of sleep problems are people having right now? Well, it's, it's, it's a crazy time that we're all in and everyone is fearful, which is causing anxiety. Our schedules are messed up. We're, we have kids at home. Um, we might have, we might have moved in with our parents because we've lost our jobs. Like everything is just a crazy, crazy time, but it's really a time to just focus on our health and focus on our relationships. And it's a time where we're all being able to step back and really realize like what's happening and what can I do for my own health to make sure that I'm I'm strong enough to fight something like COVID-19. Um, and sleep is the most important thing that we do. We do it two thirds of our life. And sadly, what we've done in the past is we've sacrificed our sleep and, and we shouldn't. And now's the time where we can sleep even, we can sleep longer, but it's also really important that you you do establish a routine. It's important, our bodies, the circadian rhythm um, is what kind of is our uh, system that initiates sleep. It's, it's, you know, it's when the sun goes down at night, our melatonin rises. And so it's really important that you stick to a, pick a schedule and stick to it. Because if you go That's to- That's hard. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're working from home, I'm finding that I'm staying up really late I'm sleeping in a little bit more. Every night I seem to be going to bed a little bit later because I'm working from home and my, I, I, I was just able to adjust my hours a little bit. So I, I don't know why. I, I'm sleeping fine now, but I'm sleeping longer, I guess, more. Well, we, yeah, we all need to find our new normal. And I have some ideas and some tips that will really help you. Um, first of all, everyone needs to make sure that right now you're eating as healthy as possible. Um, you know, hang a note in your fridge that says you're not hungry. <laughs> Shut the door. I've seen that meme. Uh, make sure they're eating a healthy diet. This is really important. Make sure they're getting some kind of exercise. We are still allowed to go outside. Uh, enjoy the beautiful weather. We, we need that. Our, our brains need the natural sunlight. We're so fortunate to be here in Arizona to experience that. And then in the evening, have a power down hour right? So yeah. try to turn off your electronics, spend an hour taking a journal and writing down all of your thoughts, your fears, but also write down what you're grateful for because gratitude is the antidote to anxiety and fear and all these things that we're growing through, going through right now. And it's really important to be grateful because we really, if, this is a first world problem what we're dealing with right now. And we really, really have a lot to be grateful for. Um, and then take a hot shower or a hot bath because what happens when you step out of the bath or the shower, our body temperatures drop, which helps uh, increase melatonin, which helps initiate and maintain sleep. So all of those things will really help you get that proper sleep. And if you struggle with anything like not being able to fall asleep, not being able to stay asleep, you snore, your partner snores, I mean, these are sleep disordered breathing, uh, very, very important disorders to pay attention to because right now it is really important to make sure your respiratory system is working optimally. We have a pandemic that's attacking the respiratory system and you want your immune system, your respiratory system, your overall health to be optimal during this battle. 
And so, you know, if, if you find that you're um, not having trouble falling asleep, but you're having trouble staying asleep, you're waking up, you're worrying about things, is that, um, you know, is there anything you can do about that? Because really I, you know, I don't, I want, don't want to recommend people start taking sleep. No, no. Like and you know, um, even, you know, our physicians at Valley Sleep Center would recommend against any type of sleep aids. You know, natural things are great, but we want you, your body knows how to sleep. It's the main function of your brain. It's supposed to sleep. And so one of the things that I've been trained in is yoga for sleep. So there's a lot of meditation apps out there um, that, that you can look up. And basically what you do is you just close your eyes and you concentrate on your breath. And you imagine that you're at a beach or somewhere really lovely, this, these mountains that you have back behind you, Carrie. <laughs> the Grand Canyon. Just, you just imagine yourself in a beautiful place and you start to smell the sounds smell the sounds, you start to hear the sounds around you, smell the smells, see the images of the flowers, whatever it is, you'll usually drift off to sleep. Or just imagine yourself, if you love to golf, just imagine yourself playing at the most amazing golf course ever, and you probably won't make it to the second hole. So those are, that's imagery, uh, meditation, muscle tension, relaxation, tense up all your muscles, and then just relax. But your breath, is the most important thing. It's the first thing we do when we come into the world, and it's the last thing we do when we leave. Imagine all the breaths in between those two breaths. Mm -hmm. They're totally involuntary, and there's so much power in our breath, but we don't even use it. So if you can find your breath and use it as a tool, you will, it will be really healing, and it will help you fall asleep and stay asleep. How much of you know, the fact that we're working from home now, many people are, um, mm -hmm. Or if they're working out and they're one of the essential folks who are working out and aren't working from home and the stress of the worry of, could I pick up this virus? Could I get sick? Or if you're working from home, you've you know always got your work right there and you're connected and you're, you've got uh, emails coming in. How much of our sleep disturbances are caused by those type of worries in this day and age? A lot. Um, and again, we have to find ways to retrain our thoughts because fears are really false if you think about it and you need to have faith and trust that it's going to be okay um, look for your new normal right P start planning be proactive we're not going back to the life that we had before we're going to have a different life all of us this is affecting every single person on the planet mm -hmm. look for how you're going to do things differently you know, um, I can't go to Pilates anymore. So I just have to put on some tennis shoes and go find a trail where nobody is because I have a compromised immune system and I can't be around people. Well, there's a lot of places in Arizona that don't have, you know, people. It's great. We're lucky. So you know, and actually people, people seeing this um, will be uh, potentially seeing it from around the world because we're, this will be airing on our, our YouTube channel. So there are places where they live in a small apartment. They're in a big city, maybe that's under lockdown and they can't get out and walk. Right. And that's even more stressful than for it, us here in Arizona. Is. But it's, it's, be careful what you fill your mind with too, right? So if you're thinking the same thing over and over and over again, it is going to cause anxiety and fear and insomnia. So it's really important that you retrain your brain to something else. And there's probably a new something that you could learn how to do. Um, find new things and new ways, you know, to get through this, you know, lock in and through this pandemic, because there's a lot of opportunity for us out there and you just have to look for it and fill your your mind and heart with good positive things and not thinking about the negative all the time. You're so positive and and I love your background that you started as a respiratory therapist before you opened up these sleep centers to help people who you recognized were having bigger issues than uh, they, they were having sleep apnea issues and you opened up numerous centers here in Arizona to test people and get them help. But you've also survived cancer. So you have a different perspective, I think. Than yes, I do. When you see uh, difficulty like what we're all going through, you also see that you can overcome that. Talk right. about that. I'm, I'm pretty grateful that I survived two cancers. The first cancer I had when I was pregnant with my son, he's now 27. I took chemo, I was pregnant. Um, I had Burkitt's lymphoma. Less than 1% of the world will get it. 
and very little survive it. So I feel really grateful that I had doctors here in Arizona that were willing to treat me while I was pregnant. And my son was born with a full head of hair and I didn't have a hair on my body. It was a total miracle. And when you get faced with that, I mean, that you talk about fear. That I had two little kids and I was pregnant and we just started our business, uh, you know, testing patients. And this was, you know, 27 years ago. It was very, very scary. There wasn't even a computer really to look things up and uh, thankfully. <laughs> uh, but I, it taught me that you'll never have joy in life without taking risks. And, you know, fast forward 23 years later, five years ago, I got a different kind of cancer. I got breast cancer. Both were in my breast. But um, and I went through, you know, double mastectomy, more chemo. It was so difficult because my body could not take, you know, another whole round, all these rounds of chemo. Um, I've had, you know, heart problems from it, neuropathy, you know, you name it. But again, I want to make every day that I have count. And I, I'm not afraid. And I know that I'm only here for a little while, but I'm so grateful that I've gotten all these days that I have. And so I really am, um, again, grateful that COVID-19 has nothing on me because, you know, I've had these other things that were a lot more fearful and it taught me how to look forward and not like I just want my life back. I need to look forward because after my cancer, I'm not going to go back to that life. After this whole pandemic, even if it doesn't affect you directly, the, the actual virus, you're, you're, you have to look forward. And, right. you know, we've been dealing with respiratory viruses for years. There's been all kinds, and this is what you, this is reality. Respiratory viruses have killed people for years. Heart attack kills people, stroke kills people, cancer, car accidents, like death is a reality. Yeah. And once you grasp that and you have peace about it, it, it changes you. And you face it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Laura, uh, Lori, I really appreciate your time. And uh, thank you for some of those tips on just kind of how to get a better night's sleep. I think it's really important as we face this uncertainty, to do so with a restful body and mind. Yes. And that's kind of when we heal at night. That's when our body recharges and gives us the energy and strength to get through the next day. And every day is worth getting something else thrown at us. So It's so true. And if you want to learn more about how to help yourself through these in, this time and insomnia, every Tuesday night at 6.30 on valleysleepcenter.com, you can sign up. Uh, Dr. Adam Froze. He's our sleep psychologist and behavioral sleep medicine specialist. He's uh, doing an online free health talk where people can log in, ask questions, and just I'm trying to reach out to the community right now and help you. We also have virtual sleep medicine visits. You don't even have to leave your home. That's if cool. you're struggling, it's covered by insurance. Please reach out to us. We want to help you right now. That's great. So they could start with the Tuesday night free session and yes. find out if they really need maybe more help. And yes. that's valleysleepcenter.com yes valleysleepcenter.com and then forward slash events and you can uh, sign up for any of those awesome Lori ledley thank you so much for your time and your inspiring words we appreciate it thank you carrie all right once again valleysleepcenter.com is a place you can go to get more help if you do need to have better nights of sleep during covid19